Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda's Ease in Arlington Heights, Illinois. <laughs> I am here today with my copy and to share with you another wonderful designer. I've been trying to do that periodically to give you some real insight into what some of these designers are, these quilt designers are doing. And this particular designer, um, Tone Finnegar, I believe is how you say her name, is the, the name of her fabric collection is Tilda. She's a Norwegian designer from the fjords. She lives in an island on the fjords in Norway. Started in her, you know, 20s. And, you know, in, I think it was back in 1999. So she's probably in her 40s now and has just taken the whole world by storm. Her quilts are known all over Europe, all over Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, uh, Japan. I mean, the entire world, Africa, there isn't a continent or a uh, country, I think, right now that is in the quilting world that no, doesn't know about her. We are extremely excited now to be carrying all of her solid colors. And this is the only bad thing about the um, uh, having a virtual. Now, I can feel this. It is so beautiful. It feels like silk. I'm not kidding. It's like a beautiful, beautiful um, cotton fabric that feels almost like a silk or a percale. It's just a luscious, luscious fabric. The uh, quality of the fabrics are just spectacular. But look at the colors. That's what I am so in awe of because this designer has taken colors and shades of colors that most of us would never even dream of doing. It almost looks like paint colors. This one is just a kind of a putty. Um, you get into this um, shades of green and blues and this light baby robin's. Well, this is almost the robin's egg blue, but it's really not robin's egg. It, it's really its own color. And what has really been so fabulous is that you can see the quilt behind me. This is called um, Tilda Solids. It's called the Spinning Top Quilt. And I want to show you a little bit about it because I think this will really give you some inspiration for your own quilts. I love what she's done with the colors. This is probably one of the easiest quilts to put together. And I'm going to actually, we have it kitted so you can buy the kits. They are just wonderful. They're not real expensive. And what they do, she goes through all the directions, but look at how nice she's got all the colors written out for you and exactly how to do them. Then she goes into a diagram and the diagram is of the quilt here and it's very, very simple for you to cut these fabrics and do this spinning top. I think you will absolutely love what she's doing. This particular quilt, I believe this kit is $99. Look at these shades of green. You know, green is now in the palette for this year. It's one of the colors that is the most popular and it's not just one shade of green, it's every shade of green. So I would encourage you, I kind of call this like my castle walls. I've seen that at retro, um, you know, some of the hardware places, but it can be any color that you like because it is in the shade of, of green. And we call this the cool, you see the background is that, we call this the cool shade, the cool uh, kit, and this is the warm one. Look at this. This is another spinning top that I think is just amazing what she's done. And if you look at the colors back here, you kind of get them. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see it because this is what I hope that you'll come away with is that there is no such thing as you must put reds with red or green with green or, you know, opposites on the color wheel or uh, she has made these colors work. And that's what I think is just fabulous. Look at the shades of green here. Things I never would, well, I might try to do it a little bit, but some people I don't think. Look at, look at the orange and the kind of a fuchsia purple, which is just an amazing shade. So I would encourage you to do something with Tilda if you haven't, because not only will you come away with a gorgeous quilt top top, but you will learn color. You will, it will stretch your imagination and your creativity in a way you probably never thought. I see that happen a lot for new quilters and 
Some people, we, we just love it because they're not afraid to experiment and they come in there and just, they do it. And this is a great way to do it. The other thing I want you to see about this quilt that I think is really amazing. These quilts, I'm gonna hold up. I have about six or seven of them here and I'm gonna actually hold them up and show you. They are so heavy. I have never seen anything like it. And why do you think they're so heavy? What, what do you think? Here's one that I have right here. It's, a, it's the house of quilts and it's just an amazingly heavy quilt. I'm gonna lay it down actually. Um, have, you, have you got any ideas out there? Can you tell me before I tell you the answer? <laughs> You're right, I, I know a couple of you got it. This is every little square inch of this quilt has been quilted. And all her quilts are heavily, heavily quilted. Now there's something called skim. You have to be a little careful when you are um, quilting as close together as she is because you'll have that fuzz of the batting come out if you don't have real good batting. You have to know what the, the um, quilting arena or area is of your batting in order to do this. And we can help you with that when you get to that stage. What I want you to do is get to the creative stage to really start working with these colors. I, I just can't wait to see people and what they're doing. And then I put these together because we bought a whole bunch of her little packets, which are the sweetest things I think they are, that are out there. Look at these, reminds me of the old pillowcase fabrics. Remember those? But the, when you feel it, believe me, it does not feel like that uh, ticking or whatever it was called on mattresses. This is soft and supple. It is just a beautiful, beautiful fabric. Then look at these sweet little flowers. And again, there is a main theme running through it. It's kind of the shades of green again, but again, it's they're totally different from what you're normally used to. These are some of the bigger packets and they're not real expensive, but look at her beautiful colors. If I pull out the little pinks and then she's got some shades of um, turquoise that are very soft. Her colors are very, very soft. They're not, uh, then when you come into the bright colors, of course, that's where she makes the things pop. These are in shades of pink, but they're a different type of pink. They're, all, they're not a coral. They really have that very, very strong softness, almost like a chalk pink. Then you get into some more of the, um, what I call the pillowcase fabrics, but look at in the reds and the lavenders. So again, beautiful little um, shades. And then the sweet blues that are just an amazing collection of what she's done. And they all go well together. And again, with all of the um, shades of color, they will be just fabulous. Those of you that see this um, beautiful Kirk machine fitting here, I hope one of you were able to get this machine. They are limited. We uh, can take orders for them. So I would um, hope you can come in and see it in our store or look on our website because we do have, we can't sell it on the website, but we can certainly sell it in our store. So we'd love to see you. And again, look at the color in here, just spectacular. Let me start with this little trunk show of color from Tilda because I'm going to move my coffee out of the way so it doesn't get anywhere near it. This is a pillow and she has called it Color Play Leaf Pillow Number One. Look at how gorgeous this is. <laughs> it's just beautiful. I mean, it's probably one of the prettiest quilts I've ever I mean, it's, it's actually a pillow. That, and if we can get up real close, I think you can, Nick, with that wonderful camera, and see the heavy quilting that's done on each one of the leaves. Look at how beautiful. And again, this was done with computerized quilting in the machine. If this, these were not done on a long arm. You can definitely do these on a machine like sitting next to me because they have come out with something called a new clamp quilt hoop, and especially for something of this size. Now I'm going to turn this over because I want you to see the back of it, which I think it's a pillow. Look at that. It's got the little buttonholes and the colored buttons on it. Look at the back of this. Isn't that just wonderful? And look at she took all the colors and put them into the back of the pillowcase. So this would be wonderful on anybody's bed. And you know, I inspect all these. <laughs> I didn't make these, obviously. These are from her. The binding is sewn on the right side. If we can get this up close, and it's um, 
rolled to the back to the wrong side, to the back of the quilt, and look at the beautiful hand stitching. This is what I consider to be one of the most beautiful parts of a quilt when you do that binding with your hand stitching. All right, now that's the smallest piece that I have here. Now I'm going to go into some of the bigger ones because I want you to see how wonderful they are. Let me put that over there. This is, again, I just love it. We've labeled them because when you're looking at these quilts up close, you cannot see the dimension. It's absolutely phenomenal what happens with the pixels when you go back and you look out there and you see what the quilt is. And you're gonna see that when you come to my favorite quilt. And you can tell me later which one you think it is. This is called my, um, my colonial, no, my colorful, my colorful town quilt. I'm reading that upside down. So I'm gonna just hold it up. Look at the straight line quilting from the back. I mean, it's just, I'm gonna get someone to help me hold this up because this is the roof of the house. And again, you're not going to see this until I bring it way back. Then you're going to see what I'm talking about. Oh, these are just so wonderful. This is, look at how she put the kind of cream color. It's kind of a pinky cream on the back. It's a solid color, but Again, it shows up. I'm going to show you the back first. <laughs> it's going to show all the wonderful shades of the quilt. Let's see if I can find the label on here. This is why it's so important you label your quilts because if you don't and you give that quilt away and 50 years from now, who's going to know what quilt it was or who did it? This one is called the Spinning Top Quilt Warm. So this is identical to this one, but it is the warm color. Okay, so let me bring it up and see if you can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, wait till you see the next one. You think this had color? Let me show you this one. Let's see if you can guess. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little hint here <laughs> what this one will do. This background, oh my gosh. What color blue would you say this is? It's almost a grayish blue. Beautiful, beautiful color. And this is called Embroidery Flower Quilt. And see if you can tell why. And we're gonna hold this. I'm gonna need somebody to help me. Let's see if you can tell why. <laughs> and I'm not doing it justice, it really. It really needs to be um, someone who is holding it up and showing you at a very long distance so that it is really able to um, give you a really good, good look. Oh, this one is the heaviest, I think, of all. And the quilting on this, oh my gosh, it's called Color Spectacles Quilt. Um, again, I'm going to start on the back, and the thing that she does that I love is taking all these big blocks in the back. She doesn't take a 108 inch fabric, maybe she does, but she cuts it up. That's the bottom. So now I'm gonna turn this over. I'm getting threads on this quilt. I'll have to pick them all off afterwards because I don't want anyone to have see this. Each individual block is done with a different quilting pattern. I just hope you will take and just have some fun with these colors. You can call us, you can go online and, um, you know, give us a, uh, an email and we will definitely get you into the right colors, okay? Again, um, we are taking orders on this beautiful cave machine. The little tiny one that is not, it's, it's almost, let's see if I can find the color. Oh, there's a color in here that's very similar. And again, it's the vintage, I call it a vintage color, and yes, I have ordered it. <laughs> it's almost this color. The whole entire machine 
is this color and it is the sweetest little thing you've ever seen so i hope you will come in if not um, give us a call or a shout out and we will definitely take care of you thanks so much i hope this has inspired you a little bit today and we will see you for coffee with linda next week thanks everyone <music>